Hey y'all on YouTube, this is Rob from Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have an impressions review for you of the Wii Hyphen. This is a really, really cool knife that I was able to get a hold of. Really, really like this knife. This is really a nicer quality knife, and even though it's a small knife, it has a great, great uh, grip, um, accessibility for medium to large hands. I think this is really a knife that you would enjoy. That's surprisingly accessible and very ergonomic to carry and to use. Um, I've heard some people even say it looks a little bit like Batman. Not quite as much as like the Max Ace one that they have. They have a crazy one that literally looks like a Batarang. This maybe just has a hint, just a touch of maybe I am Batman in it, but still very cool. Now this is a collaboration with um, Gavco Knives. So Gavco were, were the ones who designed this, really, really love their aesthetics on this knife. So let's go ahead and dig right in. This is a titan, uh, titanium handles, contoured titanium handles. I really, really like that. And you'll notice the brass uh, hardware, in the, in, anywhere from the thumb studs to the uh, screws to the standoff in the back and to the screws here and to the pivot back here. Really, really nice. I like that a lot. And uh, one thing you'll also notice that this is a mill titanium clip. Looks kind of like not, but it is. Very, very, very nice shape. Really comfortable. Slides in and out of the pocket really, really well. I really, really do like that. Relatively deep carry. You get it right there. It does stick up a little bit, but this is more of the design that comes from Gavco. So, you know, if you know Gavco and their designs, this is really nice. You notice that even the Wii uh, captive pivot right here, there's a little standoff. It kind of... It's, it has a little curvature right there that's really nice. I like that a lot. And uh, love the washer back here. I think that's just a beautiful touch on, the, on it. Anyways, let's go ahead and click this open. As you can see, very cool design. They call it a high fin, I guess, because the, the high fin fish have a very high fin. I think they kind of, I guess, look like angel fish or something like that. But they have that high fin, so it looks like a high fin blade. Um, I don't know if you'd call this a reverse Tonto modified high fin. I don't know if that's such a phrase, but we'll we'll go with that. What you'll notice is this is a beautifully thin edge because it's a hollow grind all the way down. And I don't know if we can see that, but just a really nice hollow grind. We can definitely see it if you go up here. Let's let's do that. So you can see how it comes out to an edge very thin right there. And that's really cool. I think that's awesome. And it has this wonderful finger twill, so really great for holding this knife right like that. So you get a great presentation so that even if you have medium or large hands or extra large hands, I think you'll have a full grip. Definitely fits well over here as well for my hand. I definitely get a good grip. But this right here works really well. It's a really great slicer as far as that's concerned. And it is a frame lock as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful action. It has a steel insert so definitely locks up. This right there is a good solid 30% we can see that right 30% really nice and the action on this is just sweet really drop shut action once this broke in Oh, man, it was just beautiful and it's getting better and better the more and more I use it. So that's really nice uh, Reverse flex really well left-handed. I have no problem even putting my hand up here on the on the oops on, on the uh, frame itself Oops, sorry. I normally don't do that, but Of course we do it on camera flicks really well. So anyways Love, love, love this knife. Love the, the shape of the blade. Love the flickability. It's very fidgetable. Really fun to work with. And uh, just feels high quality. And it really is. Oops, sorry. Really feels high quality knife. Love this. Love this. I don't see a whole bunch of milling on the inside. You can probably see that. Um, but it's got a little bit of weight. It's nice. I mean, it's a shorter edge for sure. And so if you don't like that, you know, you may not care for that. But I love this. So if you like paramilitary, the para three and the paramilitary two, you, you would probably like something like this. And I love where my thumb fits right up there. That's just kind of cool. Really, really nice. So anyways, let's go ahead and do some measurements here real quick. We'll go ahead and get a weight while we're at it because this is titanium. Just love that, that that accent there. It's just really nice. Let's see what our weight is. So 3.47 uh, ounces. So three, three about three and a half ounces, right? So we'll go ahead and do a little uh, length measurement. As you can see right here, we are definitely less than three inches as far as cutting length. So the cutting length is about two and a half inches. So we're two and a half inches with it to the handle. We're probably close to just, well, actually we're under three inches. So if you go edge to the handle, we're uh, 
Yeah, we're under three inches. So, it, I mean, this would probably be very legal in some places. So if you're looking for a knife that's got some high quality aesthetics, you know, ergonomics, this might be something worth considering. Very, very nice. I, I do like that. So it would definitely fall into that. The handle itself, we're looking at about four inches. And if we're looking from the finger choil to the back, we're looking at four and a half inches. So four and a half inches of grip when you use the finger choil. Now, I know some people with gigantic fingers, they may not want to put their hands up there, but I have no problem. It's not even close to anywhere where I'm going to get cut using this knife, so that's nice. I do, do enjoy that. Let's go ahead. Oh, by the way, it came centered perfectly. No issues there whatsoever. Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and measure the... telling you this uh, I might have to get another one of these because this is just not zeroing in really well very frustrating all right so let's see what we got 0 0.122 to 0.125 so we're at uh, between one tenth and two tenths of an inch but really 0 0.12 125 0 0.13 inches so you know it's not super thin but it's not super thick, but that hollow grind comes down super thin. Really, really nice. Very, very sharp. And by the way, if you didn't know this right here, then it's usually very, very small to see it. It's going to be somewhere on here, and I don't know if I can actually show it. Oh, here it is, right there. I don't know if we can get that in. That is CPM 20 CV steel. So CPM 20 CV steel, which you know, pretty nice steel. That's like M390. It's Crucible's version, I think, of M390. Very close to it. Very nice, strong edge retention, corrosion resistant, you know, pretty tough. So, really nice steel. Uh, the fidget fidgetability of this knife is just fantastic. I just feel like it's a really nice, aesthetically pleasing knife. It's a lot of fun to carry. Very comfortable with the contoured scales. Really, really works well. The grip on here, I mean, I don't feel that clip at all. It's like not even there and when I hold it up here it's I mean just feels like nothing like just like it molds into my hand just love that really really nice I love this design I love everything about this knife and I love it especially in black with the brass standoff that's just a nice touch so if you're into black you know in PVD this is definitely going to be something you're going to enjoy they do have about four versions of this so there are other versions to definitely check out I thought this was just really fantastic. Really enjoyed that. Again, the action is just superb. And with that finger choil, you know, when you're dropping this knife, even if it goes past, you're not going to worry because it's going to catch right there in that finger choil. You're not going to have that guillotine cut in your finger. So I find that really, really nice. And once, you know, once I use this knife a whole lot and I'm carrying it all the time, I, I can reverse flick this thing like no problem course I can't do it on camera because for whatever reason but anyways <laughs> love it love it love it so let's go ahead and get some up close shots here so if you guys want to take a look you can see that just really nice PVD nice accent there is no jimping up here but that that finger fits in really nicely well okay contoured scales as you can see that that's really nice definitely no sharp edges with that contour it's really nice you can see the the really really nice um, deep carry clip which I think is you know it's beautifully milled and it just has a nice aesthetic about it you can see the beautiful pivot there and the thumbnails uh, th uh, thumb studs sorry um, for the deployment and I love that reverse tonto just really nice strong and bold up here doesn't have a little swedge up here so when you're cutting if you're looking for that swedge to allow you to, to turn the blade that's really nice but that that thin grind that hollow grind is just really really nice I think you'll really enjoy that. So anyways, some really wonderful things about this knife. I'm definitely going to put this into my highly recommended knives and really nice higher end knives. So uh, it, you know, it is a nicer higher end knife and I think it's something definitely worth considering for your collection if the aesthetics is pleasing to you. For me, this absolutely is. Well, as soon as I saw it, I thought, Ooh, I just really like that. I like everything about it. I like the shape. I like the aggressiveness. It is unique. It is definitely unique. This is not your traditional knife. It has some unique aesthetics to it. It's different. It's not going to be your traditional normal knife. So there is that. Let's do a little blade, a little size comparison. We didn't do that yet. We'll compare this to the QSP Penguin so you can see that. The handle, 
It's about the same as the handle and the blade length. Definitely QSP Penguin is longer, but overall it's pretty close. If you look at the Benchmade bug out, you can see that the handle again, very close on here. And again, going to the edge, the bug out is definitely going to be a little bit longer for sure. And then if we bring in the, let's go ahead and put this away, bring in the Para 3, you can see on the handle, if we go from handle to handle, this one's definitely longer. And if we go from the where we uh, actually have the thumb area, or you have the thumb choil, you can see that they're very close in length there. And if we look at the blade length, they're pretty close in blade length as well. So I think the paramilitary, the pair of three, compares pretty closely. It's definitely a little bit longer. There's no doubt about that, but they're very close. And that's why I think if you like the pair of three, you, you probably gonna, if you like the feel and the finger choil of a pair of three, I think you would like that if, if you like the aesthetic, right? So let's go ahead and look at the paramilitary two. And you, you can definitely see that's much, much larger, but get you a size if that's the knife you normally have. You can see it's a little bit smaller. I like it. I think it's a really nice aesthetic size of a knife. I think it's definitely something worth considering if you are into that type of knife. I am, and I was really glad to get a hold of this. I think it's definitely worth something considering. So, all right, well, if you found this interesting and or you, there's things you'd like me to discuss, would you consider commenting down below? Let me know other things you'd like me to look at or, or review or, or discuss when I when I do, do do these reviews, I would love to hear from you so I can uh, you know improve them and give you more information. And if you find this review, this impressions of value, interesting or just entertaining, would you consider subscribing and maybe hitting the like button? I sure would appreciate it. it helps me to know that the content I'm providing is of value and it helps me to keep producing more. And then if you like this today, this video, would you consider following me over on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives? That's Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching and have a great day and a great week. Bye.